Hi, I'm one of the technicians here today, and we're just going to be running through some pre-tests, get you ready to see the doctor. First, we're going to start with color vision. So what I'm going to have you do is just tell me the numbers you see on the next couple of pages. Great. Next, we're going to check depth perception up close. So I'm going to have you put these 3D glasses on for me. And then we're going to take a look in this booklet here at the top left. In this first box, you're going to see four circles. One of them should look raised up, that 3D effect. You're just going to tell me top, bottom, left, or right, and then we'll continue all the way down to number nine. We're going to grab your eye pressures here with the eye care tonometer. So the tonometer on the top part is going to rest above your brow. The bottom part is going to come up to your eye. You may feel a little flutter. Just try not to strain or hold your breath. We're going to come right up to the auto refractor here. What this is going to do is grab some measurements of the cornea as well as give the doctor an idea of how much correction may be needed if necessary. So you're going to put your chin on the chin rest, forehead right against the headrest, and you're going to find a hot air balloon in the center that's going to be coming in and out of focus. Keep staring straight ahead. And it's going to just take a couple quick measurements. Move on to the other eye. Now we're going to check your peripheral vision with the visual fields. So I'm going to have you hold the clicker here. There's a button right on top. Chin's going to go on the blue side of the chin rest, forehead right against the band. When you look in here, you should see a black box in the center that you're going to focus on, and periodically you'll see these wavy lines that are going to flash in different areas of the screen. Whenever you see those, you're going to click the button, making sure to blink when you need to. Second to last, we're going to come over to the OptiMap here. This is going to be the photo that we're going to get of the back of the eye. This way the doctor can see the peripheral area of the retina and the health of the optic nerve and the vessels. So you're going to slide the chair all the way forward here. We're going to look in there with one eye at a time. You're going to turn the chair slightly to the right. Look in there with your left eye first, forehead right against the headrest. And you're going to see a blue target in the center. Once we get that in your center of vision, we're going to open nice and wide. We're going to see a big flash. And then we'll move on to the next eye. And the last thing, we just like to grab your blood pressure because um, people with high blood pressure, sometimes it can present in the back of the eyes. So we just like to have an idea and so the doctor can take a look at your chart and see if there's anything to be expected. Do you have an arm preference? Go ahead, relax your arm. One twenty over eighty. Good. Moving on, we're gonna head into the exam room. You can have a seat in the big gray chair. I'll have you hold this card where you're comfortable reading and tell me the lowest line on the left hand side that you can read for me. Then we're going to go into checking distance vision. I'm going to hand you the occluder, have you cover up your left eye first for me. You're going to tell me the lowest line you can see up on that screen there. Then I'm going to give you some new letters. We'll cover up the other eye and do the same thing. Last, we're going to check pupils and motility just to make sure the eyes are working well together as well as responding. So just look straight ahead towards my nose here. Just going to shine a quick little light. Good. 
And next, you're just gonna follow my finger with just your eyes, try to keep your head nice and steady. All right, you can sit back. 